Hey, what is up everyone? This is Private Mittens and I'm going to be doing my pickup video for March of 2018. Without further ado, let us begin. Um, first we'll do the two miscellaneous titles. One is... A Pop. Symmetra from Overwatch. Not much to really say there, it's a pop. Um, and it's Symmetra, character I like using. Um, that and this one, which I'll do this first. Another pop of Overwatch, the Reinhardt with the helmet on. Um, yeah, another Overwatch, not really much to say there. Um, cost me, I believe, 40 bucks for the both, because I got them off of a person I know. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, let's do the PS3 and 360 game. First we have Halo 3 on 360, the in. Um, I have the game normally. Um, I've always wanted this version, but it's been expensive and I saw it in EB for $8 and I thought, well, why not? I mean, it comes with the making of the game and I believe the artwork. So yeah, $8 for Halo 3's limited edition. Pretty cool. It's the only Xbox game I got this uh, month, sorry. Um, so we have some PS3 games, um, they were doing a sale for, I think it was 3 for 20, I think, um, so I got World Series Poker 2008, um, a game that actually has fucking gambling in it, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is one of the 3 for 10, um, played a bit of it, Yeah, what you see is what you get, of course, I mean, it, play one, poker game you've played them all um so that i got sports champions for the move um i don't think i've ever played this game actually this is also the three for ten um yeah uh, didn't you'll see what i mean why i've picked really odd games because i've you know i've got every game they're offering for the three for ten um this is gonna make a uh, few of you laugh if you know me uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, uh, I thought, well, I'll just have all the Borderlands, why not? So, I got this, this is also, uh, also 3 for 10. Not much to say, it's Borderlands. Um, Borderlands 2, I've had this before, <laughs> um, I didn't get Borderlands 1, it was sold out, so, oh well. Um, but if you notice in the back, it's actually, I think it's, Japanese or Chinese one of the two but uh yeah don't bother me because the disc is in English and I thought well take the cover why not so yeah it was three for ten I got the two borderlands and that one for the deal and this one with the other two I'm about to show you I already have this game and the next one but they're for devil because devil asked for them so AFL live it's Australian football um yeah can't really say much. I've got them myself and Devil wanted them, so I thought I'll get them for Devil. And of course, FL Live too. Um, yeah, not much to say. Uh, 3 for 10, of course. Um, yeah, that's them. Um, I'll move them. So that's the old gen games. I'll just move them because got a few PS4 and Vita games. Sorry about that. Um, so next we'll go through the Vita games. Uh, so first we have a Japanese import that I imported for $35. That is Bullet Girls for the PlayStation Vita of course. Um, yep, yeah, I like my Weeaboo stuff so had to had to buy it. <laughs> um, pity it never came to the West but whatever. So yeah, 35 for Bullet Girls. The rest are all bought here. Sorcery Saga Curse of the Great Kari God. Love that name. Um, this was $25 on sale. Um, haven't played it yet, but looks really funny and supposed to be really good, so looking forward to it. Um, next we have Dynasty Warriors Next, or as I like to call it, just Dynasty Warriors Vita, because that's what it is. Um, this was $25, um, looking forward to playing it, so, yeah, can't really say much about that either, it's a Dynasty Warriors game. Next we have 
tearaway, which is actually sealed. Um, this cost me $27. This I already have on PS4, but I wanted the Vita version to have. I've now got the Vita version, and I'm really happy about that. I'll probably never open it, but really happy. Must have game for the Vita and PS4. And the last uh, Vita game I got this month was Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, which comes with MGS 2 and 3. I'm glad that it didn't come with Peace Walker, because I do not like Peace Walker, but it's, people are probably not going to like that. But yeah, um, MGS 2 and 3, $25 for this, and why not? Two of the best games on PS2 on a collection. Damn right, on the go too. So yeah, that's the Vita games I got this month. So let's get to the PS4 games. Just put these over here. Um, so, first we have Secret of Mana. I've never played the original on the Super Nintendo, so I thought I'd get this. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the graphics, which I... Eh, it doesn't bother me. I sort of agree with people that they should have given you the option to play in the original graphical version, like uh, Sega's uh, Monster World does. But, uh, yeah. This cost me $50 day one. I bought it because I knew it was going to be rare. And at the moment it is sold out in a few places that I know of. So, Secret of Mana. Um, next we have Nino Kuni 2, uh, Revenant Kingdom. Uh, don't need to really explain. If you've watched my last video, which was the unboxing, you've know that I've got this. So, yeah. 220 for the box set, of course. Well, the collector's edition, sorry. So, an import I got was Hatsune Miku Project Diva Future Tone DX. This is the two digital arcade versions on the PS4, which I have. I wanted a physical version. They released a physical version in Japan and Hong Kong. This is the Hong Kong version. I imported it, of course, just to have. I'm never going to open it because I've got it digitally. This cost me $60. I don't care because, quite frankly, I wanted it on disc. So, yeah. That was expensive. <laughs> um, oh yeah, fuck, I forgot I bought this game. <laughs> um, next we have uh, Micro Machines World Series. Now I'm a real big fan of Micro Machines, especially in the Mega Drive. I played it a lot. So, bought it, I played it, I've completed it. What? There is no story, but I've done enough gameplay to understand this game is shit. This cost me $25 and I still feel ripped off. This is one of the worst games I own on PS4. Next to No Man's Sky, The Crew, and... Ah... Uh, oh god, I can't think. No. But it's it's up there, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, stay clear from this, guys. Trust me. So, up next we have... A game that I imported, which I'm planning to actually play for a walk uh, walkthrough. For a blind playthrough, which you're going to laugh at, and that is Madden 18. Um, I've never played an American football game before, so it's gonna be fun. I'll play that soon, and you can watch me suck ass at this. I actually bought it to play the story mode, the is it a long shot, yeah, to see what it's like. So maybe it'll get me into American football. Who knows? But yeah, this cost me forty-five dollars. So yeah, not too bad. I didn't pay much for it, so yeah. Now the last four games were two for forty, so start with Mafia 3 finally got around to playing it ah playing it sorry buying it um I've heard that it's better now that it's been patched but I don't know I really can't say real big fan of Mafia 2 never really got to play the first one but looking forward to playing this so yeah as I said it's 2 for 40 for the last game so yeah um and I got Watch Dogs 2 eventually bought this as well I said to uh, my mates of mine, I'm not buying it day one. I know since it's a Ubisoft game, it'll drop real quick. It dropped real quick. <laughs> um, I'll eventually play it because I actually quite enjoyed the first Watch Dogs, believe it or not. I heard this is better in terms of gameplay and all that there, but just the main character is not as good. But yeah, so that was 2 for 40 for them two. And the last two, of course, are 2 for 40. I'll move them so I can put them there. Um, that is the Surge. I've heard a lot of good things about this, especially from a friend of mine telling me that it's really good. It's a Souls game, just futuristic. 
so that's actually got me intrigued to play it. Um, so yeah, really can't say much either for that either, so yeah. And last but not least for the 2 for 40, which is the last game I picked up this month, For Honor, the deluxe edition which comes with the game, a soundtrack on disc, by the way, which is pretty cool, and if you look on the back, I'll actually show you, um, a lithograph, which is one picture which you see there, which is a Viking fleet. I don't know why they just didn't have three of them. One for each of the three factions, which are the, you know, the knights, the Vikings, and the samurai. But yeah, whatever. So, two for 40 for that as well. So, overall, I think I did pretty well. At least, I believe so anyway. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. This is my pickup for this month, and stay tuned for my next video. This is Private Middens. Take care. See you later. Bye.